Alright, what's going on guys? Megan here. Um, so what are my favorite Dragon Ball Z characters? I gotta ask, remember that video I made about um, how, body, how I got into bodybuilding because of Dragon Ball Z? Um, so one of Scrubber scrub asked me a very interesting question. He said, Jonathan, who are your top 10 Dragon Ball Z characters? I don't know if he said top 5 or top 10. I'm just gonna say, do top 10. My top 10 Dragon Ball Z characters who inspired me to get in the gym and try to get swole. Ever since I was a kid, man. Anyway, number one. They're not in any specific order except for number one, right? But uh, after, after number one, I'm just going to mention them randomly because I, I could barely remember all their names and shit. Because I used to watch it in Japanese and in French. And their names are different. Like, for example, Piccolo in, um, in French, he's called Petit Coeur, which means little heart. And Piccolo, I think that's what Piccolo means. It means, it means little heart. But anyway, so... Um, Number one is Brawly. Obviously, everybody knows that. If you know me, you know Brawly is my number one Dragon Ball Z character. Uh, ah, Brawly is the... He's everything. He's big, he's muscular, he has a thick ass neck. He has the, the fucking alpha traps I'm looking for. His deltoids are fucking capped out. Like, he's been doing side laterals and half body time chamber for days, right? So, number one is Brawly. I just love the... And I love the way he fights, because he... He fights like... If, if I was a fighter, I would fight just like Brawly. He's fucking brutal. He doesn't really have a technique, he's just fucking brutal. He's like the, the fucking kid Buffalo, right? He will just charge at you and ram your, your head in the wall and shit. I love the way Brawly fights, right? And besides, I love bulky characters in everything, other even not just Dragon Ball Z. All right, number two is Raditz. I love Raditz, I love Raditz. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed that they, they made him so sucky in the show. I mean, they made his power level like mad low, like 1200 and shit. But I just love him because he looks badass as fuck. He's fucking cold-blooded. And he's off. I mean, look at his hair, dude. Look at his hair. As you guys can tell, I'm going for that Raditz hair look. Uh, all right, so number two is Raditz. Number three is Raccoon. I know it's, I like a lot of underrated characters. I love Raccoon. A lot of people don't give Raccoon the respect he deserves. You got to understand, Raccoon was beating the shit out of Vegeta. Mind you, Vegeta is the prince of Saiyans, right? Known as the child prodigy. On top of that, when he fought Vegeta, Vegeta already had a power boost from fighting Goku on Earth. Vegeta's power level was already high as fuck. He, he had fought Zarbon and got another power, power level boost. Shit like that. And Rikum still whooped that ass, man. And Vegeta's one of my favorite characters. I'm going to get to Vegeta. If not my number one other than Brawly. But I love Rikum. He doesn't get the, the, the credit he deserves. Plus, he's, you know, he's big as fuck. He's huge. Number three uh, is obviously Vegeta. Other than Brawly, Vegeta's my favorite character after Brawly. Um, I love Vegeta. Just because of his pride, his fucking... Um, He's like, he has a dark side to him, kind of like me. He has a dark side to him, but at, at the same time, he has like a, a kindness that he tries to, to hide, you know? And you guys know the story, how, you know, in doing the, the boot saga when he um, sacrificed himself. I was going to say no spoilers. Fuck that. If you don't know the story by now, fuck a spoiler. You should know this. But yeah, so I love Vegeta. I love him. I love everything about Vegeta. I just hate the fact that he got played. Like, Goku went up to Super Saiyan 4 when Vegeta was still at Super Saiyan 2 and he had to cheat to get to level 4. So I, I hated that shit. But anyway, fuck the writers of GT. GT suck ass anyway. All right, number three, number number four is um, Android 16. I love Android 16. Not just because it, like I could connect with him because like he loved nature and things like that, but he's a powerful being who didn't want to reveal his strength. He didn't really want to fight. He didn't like fighting. He didn't like hurting people. You know, so I I, I kind of like re can relate to him because I don't like hurting people. I don't want to hurt people. But if somebody fucks with me or my my daughter or whatever, somebody that I love, I'm an animal. You know, and once again, he has that, that that hidden potential that nobody knew until he fought Cell and beat the shit out of him. So number four is Android 16. Number five is uh, Nappa. Once again, I love Nappa because he's underrated and he's he was muscular as fuck. I like all, all the big characters. I love Nappa. I just wish you know like he had more more play time. I wish he came back as like Super Saiyan or some shit. But um, I love Nappa. Especially for the same reason I love Broly. His fighting style is brutal. He's massive. He's been been dirty bulking forever number six is king vegeta i love king vegeta for the same reason why i love vegeta he's cold-hearted he's cold-blooded you know and he's a king his boss is alpha and he has that badass cape and his finishing movie and dragon wilson take out your three was so fucking disrespectful i love it. what the fuck man driving like all right so i forgot the, what number i was on i think i was on, on number six right on number six? yeah i think number seven it's Super 17, but that's in GT, so I don't know if I should really count it, but I love Super 17 because he looks so fucking badass. His hair was mad long. He's 
fucking medial deaths were ridiculous. And he was just fucking all nonchalant and shit. So I love Super 17. That's number seven. Uh, number eight is uh, that I'm Bardock. I didn't mention Bardock. I love Bardock for the same reasons why I love. I don't like Goku. Mind you, Goku's not on my list. I'm sorry, guys. I don't like the main character. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Naruto. I don't like the main character for some reason. I always like the underrated dog characters that nobody really pays attention to. So I love Bardock, not just for his, his, his ethic, but his spirit of vengeance, you know? Same reason why I love Kratos and God of War. That vengeance, you know, to try to get back at what Frieza did to him. So he's number eight, I believe, all right? I'm fucking skipping numbers and shit, guys. I'm sorry, I just got back from the gym, I'm tired. Number nine is, uh, I'm trying not to repeat the same characters. Uh, Tien. I love Tien because it's underrated and he's one of the most muscular characters in Dragon Ball Z. He has one of the most aesthetic, yeah, bug physiques. But they played him after, you know, like, on the Freezer Saga. After the Saiyan Saga, all the little Yamcha and all these niggas got no play. And um, number 10, uh, last but not least, is uh, Android 13. If you watch the movie, Android 13, the big blue motherfucker who looks just like Broly, is on top of my, it's up there in my top 10 list. Simply because it's big as fuck, right? He's, he looks just like Broly, and he fights just like Broly. You know, I told you guys, I love that fighting style. That's why my favorite, my favorite martial art is, is Muay Thai, because it's so violent and brutal. You know, fuck that punch and kick shit. They fucking elbow you, headbutt you, knee you. You know, and and Android 13 fought so brutally. No technique, but brute strength. So as you can tell, these are my top 10 characters. The three things that attract me to them the most is brute strength. I love brute strength. That's why I love the kid Buffalo and the bull and the silverback gorilla. I love Bruce Strain. Number two, they have a that a darkness inside of them, right? Right? That attracts me to them because I also have a you know a darkness inside of me in a way. We all have it, you know. I just learned to tame mine. And number three is because they're underrated, you know. I I, I love the underdogs. I love people that are you know really underrated, except for Broly and a few other characters. But yeah, that's it. That's my oh fuck, I forgot Piccolo, man. God damn it, yeah. But yeah, so I guess that's eleven. Piccolo is one of my favorite characters. If I had to put the list in order, he'll be in my top three. I love Piccolo. Especially when he fused with, with his his old self, the old guy, and became the I, I'm a, I'm in the making who has long forgotten his, his his original name or whatever bullshit he said. Oh man, I was an awesome. In fact, my favorite Piccolo, my favorite fight in Dragon Ball Z is Piccolo versus Android 17. If you haven't seen that fight, you missing out. To me, it's the best fight in Dragon Ball Z history. Piccolo versus Android 17. Look it up. But anyway, guys, that's my that's my uh, top 11 list. Uh, Dragon Ball Z of Z Fighters. Hope that answers that question. And um, send me more questions like that. I like those. All right, guys. Peace out.